Hello friends, I believe that you are enjoying the learning and you are learning something on daily basis. This is very very important to do, to grow in your career. Today I am very excited and very happy that we are going to learn uh, if function and amazing use of if function. We have already learned if function in other videos, but here what we are going to learn is in how to use if function effectively. Let us look at the data that we have. Many times we come with the situation that we want the result uh, based upon particular data range. For example, here we have names of the students and their marks in different subjects. We want to give them the result, but not based upon their total marks, but based upon the condition. What is the condition? First condition is that result is passed if all the subject are greater than 60 marks. In all the subjects, he should grade, get more than 60, e equal to or greater than 60 marks. Then only he is passed. Second condition is that in any of the subjects, if the student gets 60 marks, then he is passed. Now, let us use the if function to get this result. So, here I am going to put the if function is equal to if, but with if, I need to use another function that is called as a and and or. Now when to use AND function, when to use OR function. When we are, we want the condition, all the conditions for that particular range are true, then we will use AND. And if any of the condition is true, then we want a particular result, then we will use OR. It is very simple to understand. Now here we want in each subject, the student should get 60 or greater than 60. For that, I will use AND function with the IF function. If the marks are depend only on one particular cell, then I can use directly IF function. But because we are taking into consideration multiple cells condition, I need to use the combination of IF and AND function. So AND function works, how does A and D AND? Now this function, what does it tells us? Is ask logical 1, logical 2, logical 3 logical test. So, what are the logical tests that I am going to give and when the logical test is correct, it will give me true or when it is false, it will give me false. So, what is the first logical test? If English is greater than or equal to 60. This is my first logical test. So, I will use comma. Second logical test, Hindi greater than or equal to 60. Similarly, third logical test, science greater than or equal to 60 and the last uh, math greater than or equal to 60 and then the last one here is we have geography I don't see the cell so I will go to geography and then drop one, one cell down I will choose F7 is equal uh, is greater than or equal to 60 and then this AND function I will close now and function will give me true or false if if all the cells which I have given to it contains more than 60 marks then it then only it will give me true or false it gives me true or false so close this okay now if this condition is true now I will go to next one so if condition is I am given the logical test so I will put the comma if this and function is true value if true what I want I want pass. So, in double inverted comma, I will put pass complete double inverted comma and comma again because uh, if function asks us three things logical test, value if true, and value if false. Value if true, I have given him if this and function gives me a true result, that means any of uh, all of these cells contains more than 60 marks, it should give me pass. That is my condition is true comma condition is false then again I, I want fail so I will put into double inverted comma f a i l fail and complete the if condition just have a look at one more time what I put here is that all the sales from English to geography should be more than 60 marks so I am using if function with and uh, first if uh, and uh, inside that and function b7 uh, greater than or equal to 60 c7 uh, all the cells I put uh, separated by comma greater than equal to 60 and complete the AND function that will give me true or false 
if it is true give me pass if it is false give me fail let's enter now pass why it is giving me pass because if you see all these marks are greater than 60 and you copy this down now you will see here is fail because one subject is 45 here it is fail because one subject is 55 so this is the way i put if all the conditions meet then only give me pass all the conditions are greater than 60. now if any of the subject is uh, greater than 60 then i want the pass result so i will use if function is equal to if and inside that i will use or function so any of this or function will give me the result if any of this is greater than or equal to 60 it will give me true so this is greater than or equal to 60 comma hindi greater than or equal to 60 comma science greater than or equal to 60 comma same maths greater than or equal to 60 comma and this geography greater than or equal to 60 and complete the or function now if any of this subject is greater than 60 it will give me <coughs> this true result now what i want logical test is given <coughs> comma value if true if any of this subject is greater than or equal to 60 i want pass any of the subject or else if all of the subject are less than 60 i want fail so look at the condition again i use or because i want if any of the subject is greater than 60 i want pass so or uh, if function inside that or <coughs> all the cells one by one greater than or equal to 60 greater than or equal to 60 complete the and function comma pass that is value of true comma value of false fail and enter <coughs> control d here control d now if you see his pass because all of the subjects are uh, greater than 60 now here this guy was fail because his one of the subject was 45 in this condition first condition but in second condition is passed because his other subjects are greater than 60 now this guy is failed kaveri this uh, this student is failed because all of her subject are less than 60 similarly if you see any other condition yes here also we have tina with all the subject less than uh, 60 marks so this is how we use and function and if function we can use this for another uh, very very uh, very simple and very effective use suppose i want to see if any of the cell is empty then i want the result uh, not attended <coughs> not attended here i want the result as not attended if any of the cell is empty so i will is, is equal to if then i will use or function any of the cell is uh, empty or logical test one this is equal to space space for space i will use double two times double inverted comma comma it will check the second is equal to two times double inverted comma it will check the third is equal to two times double inverted comma it will check the math is equal to double inverted comma then last one uh, comma i need to put the comma before putting the second condition and this is equal to space that is double into comma and complete the or function so any of the cell is uh, empty then it will give me the the result as true or else it will me it will give me result as false so if this logical condition is true i will put comma here because if condition for logical condition if this is true if any of this is empty then i want not attended so in double inverted comma i will put not attended and if it is false that means all of the cells are filled with something i want attended very simple just i am checking if any of the cells is now if you see here control d control d all all other cells are, are attended here check the spelling then comma then control d 
all are attended only one is not attended because one of the cell is empty so this is the way we can check if any of the cells in a big data is empty or not by using the function if and r function here we are learned if and uh, you and and function if and or function i hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much and see you in the next video